So today's video is on this tractor, Master Ferguson 35X. So So how do we tell if you have got a Massey 35 or the 35X? Where better to start than the plate? So these letters here, they all mean something. So S is standard width tractor, N is 35X engine, and M is dual clutch. Now this is a good point for me to clear up one crucial element that people get wrong. Now when we first restored this tractor many years ago, everyone used to say it wasn't 35X because it doesn't have a diff lock pedal. Now that is not true. Master Ferguson 35X, it was an extra to have a diff lock pedal. I'll show you. So this is an original booklet for the tractor. It tells you all about the increased horsepower. So I could tell you now it's 44.5 horsepower at the side of the other tractor that's considerably less. Now down here, optional equipment. We'll see multi-power, diff lock. There it is in black and white that it was an optional extra. Maybe it was the fact that a lot of farmers, they'd maybe spec a high horsepower tractor and it'd just come with a diff lock. But this in particular, in particular tractor was new to the Crown in London. Now, before this tractor came all the way up to Yorkshire, the exhaust was actually downswept and went underneath because the bracket was still underneath. So in what we think, or theory as of it is, maybe it worked in some of the greenhouses and it needed a low down, so obviously you wouldn't need the diff lock. Pedal. We also think that that may be a private number plate. It quite possibly isn't, but it should actually be a B reg, but we think it's Farm Unit Windsor. I'll just quickly show you this lovely brochure again. Here's a lovely brochure. It's beautiful. In quite good condition as well. Right, let's get back to how you can tell if you've got a 35X or not. On the normal A3152 Perkins engine, this mounting here for the dynamo is two pieces and there's a bolt goes through. So if you've got a two piece bracket that comes out of there, you've got a 35 engine. This shows that it's an X engine. Another thing to notice, this is the original clock in this tractor. You can see it's done quite a few hours now. If you actually look where the belt speed is for each individual one, is it a completely different RPM to a normal three cylinder 35? Three cylinder 35 is 2000 revs, and this is 2300 revs. Again, if we go back to the brochure, you'll see that 540 PTO is at these particular RPMs. Final of a little difference, straight away fire it up. If you've got a keen ear, you can soon tell it's 35X. I know she needs a dropper eye on, so we'll give her a drop and then we'll head out and give her a run. A little bit of history about this particular tractor is, like I said before, it started its life down in London and then when it was finished in London, it came up to Selby, where it was on a crop trials institution. They had a sale back in the 19, late 90s, early, early 70s, mid 70s, let's say. And then from there, it went to my dad's friend's farm, where that's where the first time I ever drove it was. Here's yours truly on the 35. 
So what I used to do, I used to have a cleaner for the dryer and all the chaff used to end up in a big pile. So I used to take it up the lane and get rid of it and then it would go back on the field eventually. So you can see me at a young age. Here she is again. That's Trevor, a good friend of ours, and that's my dad there, stood watching him push grain into the pit at the other end. And there's another photograph here. Always helping out, just doing a little job, pushing it on. During harvest to the latter end, it'd have a massive long beam on the front of the loader. So what we used to do then is hang the augers on the end of it and used to hold the augers up into the grain bins and such as that. So the hydraulics were still pretty good even then. Right, let's get mounted up. I'm going to head back to home now because we're currently on with 65 and I need to get a few parts painted for that. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, if you could please hit the like button for me. If you like what I do with these little videos, hit the subscribe button for me. All right, thank you very much for watching again, people. I'll have to put it in neutral and it'll start. Cheers. <laughs>